Hey guys, my name is Soita and I'm a STEM for Success mentor. And in today's activity, we'll discover how to find areas of four different shapes by transforming them into simpler shapes. For this activity, you'll need the area template, scissors, and two colored markers. I'll be using blue and green. First, we'll find the area of a parallelogram by connecting it to the area of a rectangle. To start off, cut out the parallelogram from your template. First, cut along the dotted line and bring this triangle to the right side. When you fill in the space, you'll see that this forms a rectangle. Then, use colored markers to mark the length and the width of the rectangle. I'm using blue for the width and green for the length. Now we know that the area of the parallelogram is simply the green multiplied by the blue. When we reassemble the parallelogram, we can see that the green is the base and the blue is the height of the parallelogram. So the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Now we'll find the area of a triangle by relating it to the area of a parallelogram. To do this part, cut out both triangles from your template. To find the area of a triangle, we'll start off with two identical triangles. You can place them on top of each other to make sure they're the exact same. When you rotate a triangle and put the two together, you can see that they form a parallelogram. So the area of a triangle is just half the area of this parallelogram. Since the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height, mark in these two using colored markers. I'm using blue for the height and green for the base. Now we can plug this in and see that the area of a triangle is one half times the area of the parallelogram, which is the blue times the green. Now we can return back to the original triangle shape and see that the blue is the height of the triangle, the green is the base of the triangle, so the area is one half times the base times the height. Now we'll find the area of a trapezoid by once again relating it to the area of a parallelogram. To do this part, cut out both trapezoids from your template. Finding the area of a trapezoid is similar to the area of a triangle. We first take an identical trapezoid, rotate it, and put the two together. Once again, we see that this forms a parallelogram. So the area of a trapezoid is one half of the area of this parallelogram. Now, using colored markers, draw in the height and the base of the parallelogram. I'm using blue for the height and green for the base. By plugging in the base and the height, we see that the area of a trapezoid is one half times the green times the blue. When we separate the two trapezoids, we see that the green is the sum of both of the bases of the trapezoid. So the area of a trapezoid is one half times the sum of the bases times the height. Finally, we'll find the area of a circle by also connecting this to the area of a parallelogram. To do this part, cut out the circle from your template. To find the area of a circle, first cut along the dotted lines. Then, line the pieces up by alternating direction. Now, our shape looks like a parallelogram. Even though the top and bottom edges aren't completely straight, they would be straighter if we cut the circle into even more pieces. But for simplicity, we can just use eight pieces to understand the idea. Once again, using colored markers, draw in the height, and the base of the parallelogram. 
I'm using blue for the height and green for the base. So the area of our circle is just the area of our parallelogram, which is the green times the blue. Now rearrange the pieces into a circle so we can really understand what the green and the blue mean. When doing this, keep the parts with the green edges together and the plain edges together. Now we can see that the green is half the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r, and the blue is the radius. When we plug these values in and simplify, we see that the area of a circle is pi r squared. All right guys, in this activity, we discovered how to find areas of four different shapes, parallelograms, circles, triangles, and trapezoids. So I really hope you all learned a lot by doing this activity and now understand where these formulas come from.